I just ran some laps in them. Look at him, this really suits you. Oh my God, I haven't even filled you in. Our shower's broken. I'm saying like, oh, can you go grab this for me? And I give you the most dirtiest looks. I'm like, no, Andrew, it's not that. I'm saying like, now I know how you feel. Perfect. It was tucked in properly. Yeah, it was tucked in, but that's like literally perfect. Hello, it's me again. I am all ready to go. I've, I was up since half five this morning editing the vlog and then have my John Lewis experience today. So I'm obviously anxious about that. I'm anxious about everything, let's be honest. So I wanted to give myself time to like have a coffee, Obviously it doesn't help anxiety, but it's part of my routine and I can't just cut it out right now. Have that, also drink some water and just kind of wake up, give myself a bit of time. My appointment is at 10. We're gonna leave here at half nine, it's quarter past nine now. I have pinned some types of outfits that I like and I'd like to have as part of my capsule wardrobe, like a day-to-day -day outfits, but I also kind of don't want to go in too heavy because I want to know what Laura thinks. Laura's the girl that I have booked my appointment with. I'm not sure whether I have gone into detail with what this whole John Lewis experience is, but it's for two hours. You're not obliged to buy anything. It is literally just something that they offer in stores. I'm not sure whether it's all stores, but especially the one in Norwich. And it's like a little housing, a little a little section on the women's and men's flooring, the clothing flooring. And there's like a couch and things like that. Andrew's coming with me because moral support. And you just have two hours. I think I'm turning up and she's picked up some bits um, because you have to fill in a little questionnaire thing. So I think we might go through that first and then go around the store and I'll basically tell her what I like and what I don't like. But I've kind of done my rundown in the questionnaire thingy. And then it will just be another hour and a half or whatever of just trying bits on, Laura going grabbing me bits, I'm assuming, and getting to a point where I'm happy. And if it is super positive and I end up liking some bits, I might purchase some bits, but I'm not obliged to. So yes, excited, bit nervous because I don't enjoy going shopping or be trying clothes on. I tend to buy stuff, take it home, try it at home, get all flustered and angry, and then send everything back. I don't know if anyone else does that, but that seems to be how it goes for me. So yes, I guess I'll see you at John Lewis. So I'm here, I've met Andrea. I was due to do the whole experience with Laura, but she's not very well today. But that's absolutely fine. I'm just desperate for some help. Andrew is obviously with me. Depending on how well I get on, I might allow you to go to the cafe and have some food. But if you're able to stay with me for the duration. I'm probably not gonna go to the cafe. I need to look after this Brad Pitt physique that I'm working on at the moment. Actually, Brad Pitt's quite old now. Okay, so we are in a little private back room. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a, a, a style studio thing where it gives you the kind of vibe of having a stylist help you get bits but this is more like private and i don't know less out in the open it's still really nice though um there are some bits that have that are on the rail i'm not too sure on but no one's seen me in person yet see my coloring and everything like that so we'll see i've tried on a couple of outfits it's going well but it's also quite Quite personal. I'm coming out of my comfort comfort zone. I'm getting out of my box. I found some trousers. They are wide leg balloon style, I think. And I think I already dirted this. Oh no, it's just some fluff from the jumper. And we've been tucking in like crop jumpers and stuff. And these amazing shoes. These look great. The lovely Andrea has come in and bought some more bits. There's some Swedish brands that I really like, but I couldn't tell you what size I'd be. So I've actually tried on some jeans and they fit. It's a miracle. So they're not sure on the shape, but they did actually look nice. We're trying this neckline on me. I've had that in a dress, but not in a top. Obsessed with these already. I'm going to give this blouse a go because I do like a blouse. Um, well, if you know me even a little bit, you know I love green. So I think that's a big win. Another shirt. This is a wild card. So I love Ro and Zoe. 
and then a wrap blouse and we're gonna give these a go but I think I might need to size up on these right so it's coming up to the last half hour mark I have got some absolute gems I'm really getting on with Andrea I'm getting on with Andrea really well I've definitely got some stuff to fit my lower half even some jeans which is all very positive but I think what I'll end up doing is maybe trying them on at home and doing a little bit of a a haul situation but I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna be getting and not getting today I like these jeans though but we just don't know if they're giving me a bit of camel toe Andrew has also lasted They are from Whistles, they're not cheap, but they're so flattering. And I, I just ran some laps in them. It's good. Right, howdy doody. It is actually Saturday now. And again, not that days matter in these vlogs, but I don't think I've picked up the camera since my shopping experience at John Lewis, which which went so, so well. And I will dive deep into that. But before that, I thought I would do another little haul, but not for me, not for Andrew, for the dogs. Quite gassed about this, quite excited. I had someone reach out to me, lovely, lovely lady on Instagram. If I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this properly. She's called The Silly Sausage, and basically she knits and sews and makes snoods uh, for sausage dogs, and I'm sure for other dogs too. And she makes like blankets and little beds and things, from what I gathered for her Instagram feed. But anyway, she was like, uh, I want to send you something in the post. And I'm still very finding this very foreign that people want to send me things, or I know it hasn't been many people, I love Emma. Emma has sent me a jumper or two in the past and then a few little other small brands and you know if I like it I'll talk about it if I don't I don't. She's made my three dogs some snoods and she even went above and beyond and got Lola and Diane some um some little numbers so I'll definitely have to give them to Helen before we leave next week because Andrew and I are filming our first wedding next week. Do you remember the vlogs when I sat down and I told you all about how we were gonna we want to venture into doing weddings? Well that's come round quick. Stop! Grace and the sausages I hope you like the treats I love watching your amazing weekly vlogs to see what you, Andrew, and the sausages get up to. Carly, Carly. So we now know she's called Carly. We're having like a deep conversation about everything. Harnesses, like I was telling her about our dogs, everything. Not once did I ask what her name was. So it's Carly. Carly and her sausages are called Iris, Ivy, Peony, and Maple. And Violet, shit. I stalked her Instagram. Oh, oh my Christ. <laughs> Knitted snoods, fleece snoods, snuggle sacks and blankets. Kiki, you're doing that right near the camera. Come here, look what, what you got. Oh, wow. Wow. Knitted snoods, fleece snoods, snuggle sacks and blankets. And she does snuffle mats. My God, this woman's busy. The Silly Sausage Emporium. Oh, winky. How do they, how do they wear them? Just look at him. Winky boy. So hang on, how do we have it? Do we have it where the, uh, do the ears, are the ears tucked? <laughs> well, how do dogs wear snoods? Do the ears come out? Oh wow, for you handsome boy. You handsome boy. Oh, you guys look so cute. Who's got the smallest neck? It's you Kiki, come here. Oh my. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Oh my God, you look so cute. Right, Lena, big old girl. Oh my God, I can't deal, I can't deal. Right, I know you probably hate me, but you will get used to it and it'll be so fantastic in the winter. Look at him, this really suits you. Kiki, look at you and your little snood. Oh, Ralph, that color of green is perfect. Luna, can I see yours, please? Here she comes. Okay, I think it's a little bit too big for you, or I've got it the wrong way round. I'm gonna go with the latter. Come here, darling. I know that Carly will show me how to do it properly. 
or maybe we could just take in a little bit we could maybe what we could do is maybe roll it there we could like roll it or something look at you not bothered at all you you're loving yours oh you look so good in that color and kiki you're not bothered are you i've literally just gone off and like sent carly like a load of messages i'm just so so kind so we've got some wintery ones ralph tends to be in green but just so that they have their own little colors and don't mix things up because they're all different sizes ralph's harness is predominantly green L uh, luna's harness is red and then kiki's is black but i don't really like black on dogs so she was like let's do a blue let's do like a blue so that this fits kiki so well Ralph's fits really well what i will say about this one is a little it's a little bit big but i think i've got the measuring wrong so i might put in an order to see if carly could make something like this but smaller for luna because i've put them all on the dogs and my dogs hate being in coats uh knitted little jacket things that i've got in the past they hate it they like stare at me with a vengeance it's not good but they were so comfortable in these and i really really like that fleece style i don't know whether you know uh, luna and kiki are smooth hairs and they just get cold so easily that's why they bury and that's why uh, i also think it's great that carly put in the package was she makes these little snuggle it is a snuggle sack and it's it's so nice and fleecy i was trying to encourage the sausages to check it out but it's basically like you can't come out the other end and you just you go underneath i tried to put a ball under there so that they would check it out i might have to put treats like right at the bottom and then they can realize that you can actually go have a nap in it but we're not going to do that we're not going to dig so big big thank you carly that is such a beautiful thing to do and think of us you have many sausages of your own so you know the obsession that you get once you have one sausage i've now ended up with three i collect memorabilia of sausages whether it's a sausage dog lamp bookends sculptures prints i'm obsessed with the breed just by having one and now i've got three i have got some some items to get in the post some items to collect and the next segment of the vlog will be oh my god i haven't even filled you in our shower's broken our shower broke thursday night i had to go to david lloyd and have a shower friday morning at 7 a.m because andrew is leaving for reading at eight and we had a plumber coming at quarter past eight he then confirmed, yes, your shower is broken. Mm -hmm. It's an electric shower. And so then on Friday, I was rushing about, which again, could have just triggered a panic just because I was maybe doing a bit too much in the day that just overloaded. So then, yeah, uh, I picked up a whole new shower unit and I've been on standby for the plumber to come around and fit it. So that will also be in the uh, on the agenda today that I need to go to David Lloyd and have a shower and wash my hair. But I'm trying to do it because it's a Saturday. And I'm thinking, do it tonight because um, who's going to want to be at the gym on a Saturday night? No, people are going to be going to the cinema and out for dinners and things like that. No, I'm going to be going to David Lloyd's, having a shower, washing my hair, coming back and doing my puzzle. I am boggled, like so incredibly boggled, right? So I bought some trainers off of Zalando, which I don't shop there often at all. I can't actually remember the last time I shopped there but I did the whole returns thing and I was like oh I'm going to be going to like my every my close my every pit stop do all like my vintage parcels that need to go off I mean only two but it's fine I'll take the Zalando package with me let me you know get the QR code and find it I'm like oh for fuck's sake I don't have a printer to print all this stuff off getting all flustered left it at home stormed out the house in a bad mood um, I printed it off. Oh, let's see who this twat is. Hello? No, can you take me off your database, please? Bye. Stupid number. It's the same number every time. No, I don't care about your energy prices. They're shit. Anyway, back to the segment. All you have to do is just select a different option on the package thing. So, I've, so I'm sending a parcel with my vintage stuff. And then you've got an option to return a parcel. Then you type in Zalando as like the, obviously like the brand that you're returning it to. 
Then I put in my my customer number, which is like this long. And then this just started printing and it's got my number on it. So they obviously have like a standard prepaid returns thing, which to be fair, that is what they sent me. I just need to go print it off and I don't have access to the, to the office this weekend because Andrew has the main front key. So I was just, you know, when you're in a mood where you just want to get everything done and sorted, that's the mood I was in. But I should have just bought, bought, I, it's weird because I went up to it and I was like, look, not everyone has a printer. So if you're only giving someone the, like the option to print off from a printer, like what do the people do that don't have a printer? There must be another way. Look, he's back. Yay. Okay, okay. So, um, I was just a bit of a dirty hoe and I never made it to David Lloyd yesterday. Dirty hoe. So we're going there now. You can imagine that my plan of last night of going when it was really quiet and no kids, well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna experience that this morning, but it's fine. I'm only going in there, having a shower, washing my hair and coming straight back out. It'll be fine. Um, before we do that, I'm gonna send off some packages because after the gym, I'm gonna have wet hair. I'm not drying, I'm literally like in and out. I really just don't wanna be there for very long. So I thought I'd do the packages now so I'm not walking around with wet hair because that's not great. I'm doing an in post, which is, you know, you know what you're doing. I yeah, my escort service. Wait, no, that's not right. Well, I can be if you want. <laughs> no. Um, no. No. And then I'm sending my Zalando shoes back, which I found out that I could obviously do the whole printing thing, to the little co-op. No. Yeah, it's a co-op, isn't it? Um, and then we'll be going to the gym. I'm basically doing my K18 thing today, which means I don't have to do all this conditioning malarkey. So I'm just gonna like double shampoo my hair, get out of the shower, put my K18 in, and then just walk out with wet hair. So it's less faff. Um, in and out job I just really just want to like the showers are so powerful I'm just gonna let the force get all the dirt off my skin do you are your are your showers just as powerful as ours excuse me the, sh the showers here they're really really powerful yeah like I was standing there for like a good five minutes just on my back yeah, I just all I can think of is how many like other naked bodies is just where I'm standing and the roof. Oh god, Andrew, no. So let me see if this works. Okay, let's see. Ah, <gasps> it worked! I get amazed by the littlest of things. I'm so excited to wash my hair, what a loser. I really take for granted having a shower. <laughs> Well, we couldn't even use the bath as a substitute. Bloody crap. Right, I'll see you in about 10. Bye. I haven't vlogged in a couple of days, just been recalibrating, that's why I keep on saying to myself. David Lloyd was okay. It wasn't it wasn't as good as experience as last time. The shower that I went into didn't work. It was just cold water, so then I had to get all my stuff out into another shower right at the end. And then I forgot my product. It was just a whole thing. But I've left my hair to air dry and I tried to add just a few more curls in to make it a bit more cohesive just not used to it but more importantly it's time i was going to do this in the studio i'm doing my john lewis video and i'm going to be trying everything on and showing how i would style bits and why i got bits and how lovely andrea and andrew no, just, me. just you could style things so all very exciting i don't know why i'm so nervous to sit down and talk to a camera because i do this quite often but I think because it's like a main channel video kind of thing um yeah it's feeling a bit weird but it'll be good I thought I was gonna do it in the studio and Andrew was like just do it at home be more chilled and I think that's kind of like going with my vibe today so what do you want in your frame um well I need to do full body at one point yeah yeah but you're not doing full body now you're doing no, full body. showing these jeans 
I want it to be like a healthy amount or like so you can put a top in or something. You know when I say like, oh, can you go grab this for me? And I give you the most dirtiest looks. I'm like, no, Andrew, it's not that. Well, no, but like, like you're just, go, like, this is what you do, right? You go, go, oh, can you just go grab this? Okay, where, and it's got no benefit to me, bear in mind as well, no benefit. It's because you're doing something and you need it's it. It's because I no, have no, 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 no. And, then, and, then I'll go, and then I go, okay, where I is agree. it? Then I go, where is it? And you go, I don't know, somewhere. Like, I'm looking for something. Well, that's because my brain is like, my brain is working faster than my mouth. <laughs> I know it's for me. I'm saying, like, now I know how you feel. Um, so we've just finished the John Lewis video, and Andrew's now going to help me edit it. We love Andrew here on the channel. Mm. Um, but I also have some other things that I need to try on, but it's more like vlog worthy than doing a whole production thing that Andrew's kindly done. So Andrew, you're gonna keep me company because I don't want to do this by myself. But also it's just, I said I'd film it. So this is what Beth was wearing on Monday. Is it a no? It looked really nice on Beth. I can't get it further than that. Literally, that's one leg. Okay, what size is this? Because I prefer this colour. It's a medium. Wait, is that small? Did I pick up a small? Am I an idiot? I think Andrea said that this was one of my colours. Yeah, that's really nice. Is it? I just, I'm just not with that top. I think you look great in it, personally. But I think it's more just like... You look really good. It's floaty. I wore them with... You look great. But do you prefer this colour to that colour? Yeah. I'm a medium. So I picked up a large, a small, and a medium. So I know I'm a medium. Cool. And this was £20, this colour. Even better. So it was tucked in properly? Yeah, so it was tucked in, that's like literally perfect. That's where that, like, like a, like a normal t shirt, like yeah. that any day black yeah, with I a guess, white I, one. I want to see if they've got a green and a white. Yeah, because Maybe if, a if that was a white one, that's just perfect. Like, it's practical and. Like, I'd go for a dog walk in this. Yeah, there you go. Like, it's a really pretty back. Yeah, and if you're feeling adventurous, you need to wear a top at all. Yeah, I just, I don't know. So this one, as I said, like this colour was a tw it's 20 pounds. Yeah. So those were 31 each, and this is 20. Okay. Great. To keep it? Perfect. Cool. Right. So yes, I'm a big fat loser. I have a folding contraption, but it's purely just because, well, actually, no, I am just a loser and I just like doing this, but we don't have much storage in the house. Like we've DIY'd this whole situation. We're also dealing with a bit of mould. It's just, ugh. So if I fold things nice and neatly, because I fold it so that it's a square and then I fold it again and I and I put it in. So Andrew's drawers, they are in colour coordination, folded perfectly and he can see which top he wants. Because sometimes, I don't mean to pick on him, but he he's like, where's this and where's that? And I'm like, look, if I can make this as easy as possible, he won't ask these questions. But also it's quite satisfying to do it. I want to start with the tops because I've got my folded contraption. So we've got a stripy top. This is from a brand called, I think it's Balken. It's not cheap. None of the stuff I've got is cheap. I don't necessarily want things to be cheap because I want them to last. This whole sustainable thing. Balken, Balken, Balken. Really stretchy, that's why I love it. So. Um, it is a long sleeve top, so it goes in the drawer. So it's folded like this. I'll pop that there. Also, when I said I went to Urban Outfitters and took a load of stuff back, I kept one of the jumpsuits. I did get a bag. I wanted the Uniqlo one, and maybe I was a bit impatient, but the Uniqlo ones, I feel like I didn't. I mean, loads of people could have these as well, but I'm just thinking for Disney and actually just day to day. For my 30th birthday, I got a coach Disney bum bag but it's quite flat and it doesn't expand too much so it's literally just for maybe like a lipstick, a phone, maybe a purse or I would put my DJI camera in it and it was just really great and it was nice around Disney but I think with this it's like I could put when we go on rides I could have my DJI in there, the GoPro, diazepam, I just feel it's a bit more it's a bit more roomy. Obviously Andrew's gonna have his rucksack as well but 
I just thought, you know what, that is quite good. But I am gonna look on the Uniqlo website and see what they have, the, the famous viral bag. Got a jumper, green is my color, jumper. That's gonna get hung up. The famous trousers that everyone loved on Instagram when I posted me wearing these. That was, um, that was a compliment and a half. These are like John Lewis trousers. They're not like a, a fancy brand. Mind you, I think John Lewis is a fancy brand but it's just so nice and fitted. Tailored, maybe I need to say tailored. Um, they need to be hung up. Then we got some tops. When well, we did go into the city, so whistles top with frilly little sleeves, just checking that everything's okay because I did get a whistles long sleeve, which was like white and blue striped. But when I went to try it on for the video, and I took it off and I noticed there was like, red fluff or something had been how the t-shirt had been made it'd been like incorporated in it not entirely sure but it was faulty and when i went to go take back the urban outfitter stuff i went into john lewis to basically just do a straight swap but they didn't have the size so i've ordered that online to come into store click and collect because i literally i wore that with everything when i was doing the whole experience it was like that top with loads of bottoms. Stay, same with the other one. I think stripes are nice. Another whistles top. They're just great basics. Expensive basics, but I, d I definitely think worth it. This is more boxy. Ta-da! Oh, sorry. Yeah, this is a basic. It's from the John Lewis Any Day range, which was great for eight quid. And how just a nice basic t-shirt. I do and have been eyeing up the cos basic t-shirts i've heard really really good things about them this is eight pounds i'm gonna see how it washes and how i get on with it but i do think with clothing and i am learning and i am having people telling me that spend more money on basics or on items that will last you longer because you're saving money in the long term and you're avoiding the whole like fast fashion thing. I really hope that these wash well and they last because they're a great price. That's lovely fabric. I'm just, I'm now gonna obviously see how I get on with this and if so, buy more colors. But the Cos ones, um, yeah, they look really nice, but they are, they're like whistles tops. They're not cheap. And my lovely jeans, which are whistles jeans. I did, I did the video yesterday and then i saw the footage of me wearing stuff and i went oh no andrew do i actually look good in those jeans i'm not sure so i hate my brain i can literally i can run in these i can squat in these they're like quite elasticy, but they're great so um that as i said well the video isn't out yet but they do have an option to create a wish list for you so if you do go in there and Maybe you go over budget. I went over budget with a few stuff. Like I tried on a cashmere top. I can't afford that. It's like 120 quid, but I could, it could be a Christmas present or something like that. There was also a pair of trousers from John Lewis that I also liked, but they were like 89 pounds. And I was like, mm, pop them on the wish list. It's just nice to know that I have stuff to the side that, that suits me and that I like, that if I'm like, oh, I have the funds or, Oh, I'm just gonna top up my wardrobe a bit. I can, oh, I'm gonna look at my wish list actually. It's good, really good. I also got a belt from the men's section. Obviously when the video comes out, I'm trying all of this on. I'm answering uh, some questions that I got on Instagram and just a bit more thorough from like how I found out about this John Lewis shopping experience to my experience and after. So obviously the items I got and I'm booked in again in December to go through some winter bits after we come back from Th we come back from Florida. And I've already asked and I'm gonna be doing like a proper filming situation with one of our proper cameras. It's all been given like the thumbs up. So that's cool and something to look forward to. And before you know it, December will be here. So I'm gonna put these in the drawers now and hang them up. But that finally was my John Lewis stuff. <laughs> 